Now, the story of a man accused of strangling an infant in Ludlow to death back in 2018. Well, he was in a Windsor County courtroom today. That's right. The jury trial started for Tyler Paulander Savory. And today, the med chief medical examiner was among several people to take the stand, detailing the injury seen on the 11-month-old when he died. NBC5's Lauren Granada has the story tonight from White River Junction. And we do want to warn you, some of these images and descriptions may be disturbing. Video from Vermont State Police playing in court Monday afternoon showing Tyler Pollander Savory reenacting what happened the morning of January 11th, 2018 in Ludlow. I did put a formula. This was fault. This was fault. This bottle was full. I put it down on this bed. In the video, Pollander Savory tells police he then walked away from 11 month old Carson Rickard's bed, stepped outside, and then walked into this. I was ready to take off my shoes. The infant was later pronounced dead. His body sent to New Hampshire's chief medical examiner who took the stand to testify. Most concerning was the bleeding in the muscle tissue that covers the, the larynx or the voice box. Dr. Jenny Duval describing failure. the disturbing images shown to the jury. What's in the center of the photo is the front of his neck and I can see from this distance that the, it is very red. Carson's family members visibly wiping so tears away. Video reenactment of Carson's mom, chest. Abigail Wood, who was the girlfriend of Pollander Savory, describing how she found him. Pollander Savory allegedly wondered if Carson got tangled in a blanket, but according to Dr. Duval, it seemed unlikely that a blanket could have caused the hemorrhaging that I saw deep in the neck. The trial is expected to continue for the next several days. All right, in White River Junction, Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.